Hi, and welcome to 106 Consulting. Today we're going to have a quick tour of the work breakdown structure view in Primavera P6. The project's work breakdown structure is managed from the WBS view in P6. You will need to be in this view in order to create or modify your project's WBS. Although the WBS is visible in the activities view, it cannot be modified there. You must be in the WBS view to make changes. In the WBS view, you can add and delete WBS elements. You can also move them around within the structure using the arrow buttons on the right hand vertical toolbar. You can also drag and drop elements using the mouse. Place the cursor to the far left of the WBS table area until the mouse cursor shows a white box below the arrow. At this point, you can click and then drag the WBS element to a new location. Also note how P6 uses the project ID as the top level code value for the WBS elements. Returning to the new home construction project we created in the previous lesson, watch now as a new WBS element is added. You can add a new WBS element by either right clicking on the intended parent, in this case the project itself, or by highlighting the parent element and clicking the add button. P6 will create a new child WBS element to which you can add a description. Note that you do not need to add an ID. P6 will offer a code ID value for that level. So simply enter a description for the element. Also note that the add button can only create child WBS elements. Having added the first element named mobilization, we need to add another element called grading at the same level. So how do we create a sibling when we can only add child elements? There are two ways to do this. The first option is to click on the project level and add the child element from there. This places a new child directly below the selected element. You will then need to use the down arrow button to move the sibling to its correct location. The second option is to click on the mobilization element and add a new child element there. And then use the left arrow on the toolbar to outdent the element and make it a sibling of the mobilization element. The latter of these two techniques for creating siblings is recommended because it keeps the WBS elements in the correct order on the screen. If the first option is used, the WBS code will be correct. However, you will have to use the arrow buttons to adjust the order. With either option, you will have to use the arrow buttons to create or move the sibling to its desired location. If you'd like to learn more about Primavera P6, then 106 offers some great online training courses. These courses are written by industry experts and offer you all the skills you need to get up and running as a P6 scheduler. For more information, visit our website at 106.com for full details on how to get started.